Ladies and gentlemen, how we doing? We're starting a little bit early today, but that's okay, you know. We set the rules. It's good to see everybody. And, uh, yeah, it's nice to be back. It's basically all my hunting done now for the for the season, I think. So, um, and I've, I had an absolute dream season. So, it's nice to be back. Beard is having technical difficulties today with his uh, PC, unfortunately. Otherwise, I would have loved to have taken him up into the hills as well. Uh, of uh, typical trails, basically. So, uh... What's going on? Purple rhombus. What? What? What is wrong? Let's let's tackle a bit of an issue. Someone, what's going on? Purple. What? What? What's wrong with the game? You can't just say fix your game. You got to tell us what's wrong with it. It always helps too. And the other thing too is is that spamming is not going to get if anything fixed faster. You know what I mean? Like support will take your ticket and then pass it on, uh, and we work on it as fast as we can, basically. So, yeah. But anyway, um. The we I got I got a little bit of a, uh, a you know inside uh, uh, you know messaging from Avery today, and so this weekend's competition is the highest scoring big horn sheep with any ethical ammo. Okay, so um, big horn sheep for me are quite a fun one to be hunting because they don't really give that many audio clues. Sometimes you can get a a, a head budding one that you can you can click on. Um, with your hunter mate but most of the time uh, the best way to find them is actually just like listen like not with the hunter mate if that makes sense and you can hear like uh, it sounds like sizzling bacon or it's supposed to be like um, scree you know like rocks sliding down the hill kind of like that sand listen for that okay I this is what I think the senses are they are really good eyesight they have really good eyesight but they're deaf and they don't smell much. Okay, so you can kind of sprint around. And if they're just, I mean, the only reason I know this is the amount of times I've come just over a ridge after sprinting and they're just on the other side, uh, you know, is, is, is uncanny. So I, I like every animal in this game has different senses and stuff like that. So again, I think they don't smell much, maybe a little bit, and uh, they don't hear much at all. So I have a couple of tents set up in here um and basically this one here is my go-to so this is where i'm going to go to uh and i like to walk up this this ridge line here and uh if you like just glass down into here there's usually some down in here somewhere and then all you're going to do see it's break it broken up into basins basically there's like one big basin here here there's another one over here uh and then there's kind of a really big one here obviously you can walk this too but uh, that's actually another tip of mine is or oh, it just makes sense try and stay on the high point so you can see more as well but basically you're just gonna uh walk around these basins and have a look just i mean i always have a plan and, and then i basically <laughs> something else always happens anyway but it's good to go out and but these are the these are the areas you want to look at in here um they get stuck on the sides of the hills and stuff too um you can find them on there and yeah up and around here as well there's actually often some down in here too that's why i've got it up here you can do like a long long shot here as well so yeah and uh i have to say i think i saw who cares in there before this is like the first species that i i i, I have hunted and found myself uh, i always give who cares credit as most of the information i'm putting out is stuff that i've already previously learned but this stuff i found out beforehand actually before uh, watching one of who cares videos so i'm a little bit proud about that to uh to to, to come up with something by myself to uh what do you want to call it surpass the master or something like that so but who if you're still out there i hope you're doing good buddy so how are we doing everyone i think i've been rambling now for a good five minutes um so get out there and get the job done it's that's that's the good attitude to have tay it's good so, uh, Scarlett, how are you doing? Good to see you as well. Ned Bella, good to see you too. Where's Joe? Um, Hosen as well. JT Angler, how are we doing? Do purple say anything? All the animals in these zones are literally standing inside of each other. It's been like that every day, month. Do you mean like the animals are like literally inside each other? That sounds really weird and very broken, actually. Uh, did it come out since the update? But anyway, I know you've already done it. Okay. the team must know what's going on it sounds really weird actually so i am doing good 
how is the hunting going at Scotty? The uh, hunting has just started, basically. So I'm, I'm heading out. Oh, I didn't go with my, my loadouts, too. Basically, you can go with whatever you want. I like to take 30R. Uh, it gives me two quick shots, and uh, has you can put the big scope on it as well. You can bow hunt them again. It's a little bit more tricky, and I wouldn't recommend it. But basically, what you're going to do is get up. So like I was talking about here, we're going up here. Get to the high points. Do a bit of glassing and, and keep a you know keeping uh your ears open for that that noise you can kind of sprint around too the, there was one really fun competition maybe four years ago now or something probably actually and it was the most bighorn sheep shot and i think it was three outings or maybe one outing i can't remember uh and it was in kg so it was like a combined weight score and i worked out how to hunt them pretty good in that event actually and if you're trying to do it fast and not very role play like uh then definitely you can sprint around actually try and find the tracks and run the same direction as the tracks and then keep listening for that that noise i was telling about hopefully we can hear a little bit in this um i know that it really depends on what headset you have some people can hear it really well other people can't hear it at all so um we just uh you know y y you gotta i was actually using uh old i iphone uh pads oops a hole punch in the way of my mouse there um so yeah and they, they they came up nicely on that but i mean that's hardcore if you i i wasn't swapping headsets it was just what i had at the time uh to put put audio through my my ears and don't forget the first aid kits ladies and gentlemen you will be falling down the hills a lot so yeah uh what there was a big horn on the train tracks to the right probably i probably missed it too busy uh busy, busy chatting maybe we can see them down here somewhere look nice little uh golden chanterelle there um but yeah they, they they can be literally all over here and you know they will be on these steep parts too so definitely check those out they can go places that we cannot go same with like the ibex and stuff like that so uh thinnest is it tinus thinnest on the facebook how you doing man sorry if i say your name wrong there but good to have you in there bottom boy how you doing man good to see you dude really good to see you good to see uh your name back to bottom boy as well now i think it's no more confusing for me you know hey door how more dude it's so good to see everyone man i really love being back it's good so um seven mil was good gun yeah seven mil was gun i i really like the the 300 uh there's a lot of good guns so basically make sure especially for bighorn sheep uh that you can put the big scope on it really helps for these long longer distance shots basically so but yeah like i say you won't really get any audio clues from them unless you're very lucky and uh manage to hear some fighting you can actually watch them as well they they headbutt each other it's pretty cool so two moons how are you good to see you oh the 7 mil oh it's probably a good gun for a two hosen actually but that bipod is really weird it's a bit finicky on the hills but it's a nice gun to use yeah so that that could come with a few pain points that one um but i do i do like using that gun as well actually just have to uh I, I guess kind of work on your setup a little bit woken how you doing good to see you bud just listen for sliding sands and you hear them that's the one who cares that is the one buddy that is it so that's what i was kind of saying is actually like sometimes it can be to your advantage to to run and do the sprinting um yeah so yeah i've had i've had an absolutely unbelievable hunting season in real life this year and uh i the the chest freezer which is actually just a couple of meters uh to my left here is absolutely jam-packed full of top quality free-range meat so i i'm super happy with that lucy how are you good to see you sadly the boss is in today not sure i can watch i just get good with the alt tab in there lucy right finally got a bear barrel on red feather it's nice to have it yeah nice rank off good to see you man i saw that black tail you shot 191 that's a good black tail buddy 
So uh, hopefully we can actually find some uh, some bighorn today. Might be, uh, it'd make the stream a lot more and en uh, enjoyable, wouldn't it? Hey, uh, Lumini, yeah, I do actually have multiplayer open today, but I'm not going to run any competitions apart from the guessing games. So I'll just see what what the what the story is because the problem with the bighorn sheep I find is if everybody's running around up here, uh, it kind of changes them a lot, and like I'm trying to my best to give a, a live tutorial about how people should go about them and and the routes i take to find them and stuff like that so um lucky card good to see you man man it's so nice to see everyone back there and thanks for all the uh the, the warm welcome back it's nice <laughs> hello to all the brazilians and uh, youtube too you guys are a massive part of the community of course so uh, nice to have you in let's have a look but the the other thing I, I think is quite cool about the bighorn sheep is you can literally like glass uh, a slope like this and then you'll look back and then there's just one there because it was behind a bush. <laughs> I think that's pretty cool. And uh, yeah, I, I think I enjoy these a lot actually because there's no callers. Like I said, there's hardly any audio clues. So for me, you actually have to really like kind of, apart from the fact I'm just sprinting around, uh, you actually have to really kind of to hunt them, you know, to... Uh, to find them you can't just uh you know kind of wait for a call and then call them in you, you got to put the put the time in to uh to get them which i enjoy and and the, the spot and stalk's good fun too you know so via toski good to see you buddy uh so it's easy to get duck pie i think it is the gaming crash i think it is but we are talking about classic today ladies and gentlemen so please keep uh your questions comments smart remarks to uh, classic related stuff uh it should be in dawson go and get in the stand man go and get in the stand oh wait dawson you, you're a dadder now rose congratulations bud when did they have it i guess when i was away last week It'd be funny if it was the day, same day as fleeing here we go uh same day as i shot my my buck uh, uh let me just catch up on the chat for a little bit here no more chat channels in no more chat channels in the hunter discord what do you mean no more chat channels you mean it's getting too big now doc too many channels too hard to you can collapse the ones you don't use too just as a bit of a, a bit of a tip oh there's a female probably the one that was fleeing But well, let's have a look. I'm not. Oh, there's a couple in the distance there. I think they are females as well. One was a female anyway. So maybe we go and have a little. Oh, there we go. There's a male. That's going to be quite the shot, actually. But I think we might give it a nudge. It's not that big. This one. Um, a big one is really. You'll look at it. And it's like. Just to, to, to uh, steal a phrase from who cares, talking about moose, but they look like massive big tires stuck to its head. Really thick and chunky. And you, you, you say to yourself, wow, that is a big horn. Another one there. That one's a bit bigger, I think, actually. Looks a little bit fatter in the, the tops. 205, two, yeah, so... Oh, wait, maybe these guys are going to fight. Are they going to fight? Are you going to do it? Oh, are you going to do it live on... You gonna do it live on? Uh, no. Yes. This is kind of a, a bit of a rare thing to see, and I'm sorry for the bush being in the way, but that is so cool. You hardly ever see that. <laughs> Hang on. Where did you go? Huh? Oh, that's no more zoom. That they, they 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 sometimes do it for a couple of times. But can you see the size difference now? See that one's quite a bit thicker than that one there, in in the bases. So that one there is going to be getting the smackdown. Hopefully they're going to come back in and do it one more time, actually. But that's very cool. Yeah! All right, we're going to, we're going to uh, try and steal there. We'll break their party up, I should say. Play some uh, mountainside. Uh... Did I hit that? Mount, I think I dropped the smaller one. Yeah, can you hear that? I can hear that sand stuff we're talking about. Down off this way. 
And somewhere down here, there is another... Another bighorn sheep somewhere. Let's see if we can find it. It might be that one that Joe was talking about. He said there was one down at the, the railway to the right when we started. Now, I don't know how good the sound's coming through on the stream too, but that's that's what that... Sh yeah, it's like a, a, a sizzling, uh, shingly noise. So there we go. Shots were a bit rushed. Yeah, they were, Aaron, Aaron but it kind of... No. Yeah, I thought it felt good, actually. Second shot was a little bit of a rushed one, for sure. Classic needs an Africa map. I agree. Pro, I think it would be awesome, but I don't know if it's ever going to happen, my man. Not sure. Um, you reckon that's a really good re uh, look around that one, Scala? It's not not too bad, eh? It's not too bad. Um, how are you doing together? I'm officially three forty-five kills, and I'm a red deer grind, and I've got six rares, one troll, and a massive die. Marcus, congratulations, dude! It's good. I hope uh, hope you managed to get a, a great one. Uh, a bloodhound's good for big ones because they're hard to track. Richard, I don't really... I mean, uh, tracking up here, like you say, with bighorns is really quite difficult. Um, because they, they can go a little bit all over the place because of the way the terrain is. I guess if you shoot one, it's probably going to help you a lot. Yeah, I think so. I think so. I don't. I should have even... Uh, <laughs> I don't even know where I shot these ones now. I should have put a marker on the that tra uh, at the shot location. It's what I usually do too, so this is a bit rusty. Hunter Beast, how you doing, buddy? Good to see you. Uh, Dawson, I'm sorry if I missed your uh, your 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 uh, announcement about Rose, but it's a beautiful name, and I hope you're super happy. Well, I'm sure you're super happy. It's such a magical time, dude. <laughs> like two boys fighting in the streets and the cops come and break it up. That's right, except the cops don't usually kill people, so. So I'm kind of going to be flying a little bit blind here in terms of where these sheep actually are. Um, I think they were over there. But we'll see. We'll see. The other good thing about the uh, the 30R actually is uh, they usually die even if the shots are really bad. Um, so that's always a bonus because, you know, sometimes the shots... I mean, this is the other thing too I was going to say too, but if you can get a shot, get a shot because the way the terrain changes, getting closer might not necessarily help you um, because you just might not be able to see them from a different uh, point. MD, good to see you. You got a silver-tipped red fox and a melanistic white-tailed buck this week. Erwin, awesome stuff, mate. Really awesome stuff. Congratulations. Is that fleeing? Fleeing. Let's see. I still think it's up this way. I don't know if it's one. Well, actually, it must be one I spotted because the weight estimate was so good. But let's see what happens here. Uh, Gator, this is the Hunter Classic, my man. So we are in the Timber Gold Trails, which is uh, set in the Rocky Mountains in America. And we're after Bighorn Sheep today. Fisherman Roo, how you doing, buddy? Good to see you. I would love to get a Classic. Unfortunately, I play on console. Yeah, those feels. Those feels. And uh, just to, to kind of, you know, jump on that, I don't think it's ever going to come to console either. It's a, it's a pretty old... Uh, game and uh, it would be quite finicky to switch it over nowadays i think the gaming crasher have a good one buddy uh, let's have a look was i right or was i wrong all right i was right but that was a body shot Eesh. I might just uh, crouch a little bit here because they could be, especially if I miss that big one, I'm going to want to follow up on him, right? I probably uh, should really stop being lazy and go to, the, oh, there's one, 
go to the range as well, you know, and uh, actually see how these guns shoot. That's a small one, I think. Yeah, that's quite a small one. But, if there's one, there's usually two, so... Here's the other tracks from the other one, I think, so... We're on a winner. But as you can see, you just gotta be on the binoculars, the binos, all the time, basically, because... Otherwise, uh, you ju you'll just miss them. You, you start to get, like, the shape and colours and stuff for them, but... It's still a bit finicky. Hmm. I can't even see that one anymore. There he is. You can hear some this way. But anyway, we should be... I want to try and find this other one first. Maybe he stopped bleeding already. Um, Adam, thank you very much, man. Seven, eight viewers over average, am I right? I'm not sure who one, actually. I don't know. Uh, I can see 164 across all, all our streaming uh, places, you know. Uh... Is this the game before Call of Duty? That is correct, Nitro. It is indeed. Uh, is there a chance that Hunter Classic receives a new uh, reserve? I would hope so. But uh, I I don't really know of the uh, the exact chances of that happening. Sorry, but Okay, there's one dead there. See it in the bush over there. So I might just pick up because there's a good chance. This is the other one. Yeah, that's the other one. So that's the big one. So I, I think I did miss that big one. It's probably not too far away then. Jaxie, here he is. The, the myth, the man, the legend himself. Welcome in, Jaxie. I was just saying that, unfortunately, uh, you, you, you got the EW Gremlins. Which is, uh, if anybody ever comes and works at EW, you'll know what that means. Basically, it doesn't matter how ready or good you are sometimes things with the streaming stuff just happen so right that is definitely the small one what's that gonna be 142 i think the other one might be like 170s maybe if, if we're lucky oh we need to do a guessing damn don't we next one next one i'm very i'm very much out of practice sorry ladies and gentlemen Gotta go and find this big boy. That's like, I'm just laser focused on uh, getting this big guy down, hopefully. Gotta find where his foot, uh, next foot, foot step is and all this thick stuff. I hear one. Okay, we're gonna go up on this rock, hopefully. Because there's a good chance it's him. Where is he? Don't see any more. Is that my last one I picked up? It's probably the last one I picked up. I don't think he was running away. But he could be. There's no cone from that last one too. So I really don't know where he's gone. I'm just kind of... Having a little bit of a guess. I don't want to just give the 500 uh, EMs to you. Well, I, I mean, I kind of do. I, I enjoy that game. It's fun, but... 
Okay, there's other tracks here, so it might not be this big guy. Another track there. Another track there. Where in the world is this other track? We need to get this big guy down. I think we might just... Like, at this point, I feel like it's better to get the... Oh, there we are, right there. I was going to say get the track. Um, than mess around too much. But now we kind of got on the right... Well, so far so good on the right track. So, has anyone got any questions about bighorn sheep? Or do you feel like so far if you've been watching, you're like, okay, I think I got enough information. Or maybe you already know how to hunt them. Luckily. Why do I get coin? I got coin stuck in my head for some reason. Uh, just reinstall the use and s same user year. What's that for? I mean, you're not going to lose progress all right. Oh, wait, you must be talking about to somebody, giving them some advice, Scarlet. No, 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 me. Hmm. This is uh, part and parcel with this country. I was trying to find the tracks again. Uh, let me. Like I was saying, they got pretty good eyes. So I think. Had there been something here, it would have gone already, but. You never know. Alright. I'm trying to find this next track. And just because it's pointing that way doesn't mean it's here. Uh, which map is this? This is Timbergold Trails uh, MD. Timbergold Trails. So I'm just, I'll show you guys again. So uh, I have a, a tent up here on the, the flat part and I just usually walk up. I mean, you can see where I've gone now. I usually just walk up this ridge and get onto something basically uh, there's often some in this basin uh, and then I was saying there's all these different little basins here are, are prime spots to find them also helps if you actually manage to shoot uh, the one you're after uh, can I get my gun out please I'm just that's not the same one 195 to 175 use a different one but that's what I was talking about the being being a bit deaf I mean I was just sprinting over here right just sprinting around here uh, and uh, those they were just there so this is what I'm saying about like I don't think you need to be too sneaky in terms of noise but uh, you definitely need to be uh, hidden. Hidden is the key there. Right. Please don't have to watch too many dishes today. I read. No, I don't. Not today. Not today. I had to wash my mouth out after Tuesday's stream, though, no, Jeepers. <laughs> Right, so where in the world have you gone? Let me check this way a little bit. Hmm. There we go. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. 
five hours later. So it could have been that one that we heard before. Hey, yo, sore foot, catch you later, buddy. Have a good day too, man. Hey, I get to pick up my uh, my big red deer head tonight, IRL. So that'll be awesome. I just got a uh, message about an hour before the stream, actually, that uh, it was ready to ready to pick up and go. So that'll be awesome. So then all I need to get back is my fallow deer, but I'm getting that one shoulder mounted, so that'll take a little bit longer. Come on. Where are you? It, I mean, like, it, literally, if I didn't think it was that big, I would have given up by now. Uh, because there's a lot of other bighorns in the area. But... There we go, look, right all the way down there. Fleeing. Alright, he shouldn't be too far though now. Um, a big one, a big annoying, they are, but I find them big rewarding too, you know. Oh, he's just here somewhere. somewhere I've just got to find his next track right just easy as that there we go I'm oh, fleeing again all right then are you who cares no who cares is in here though uh, Stefan he has, uh, I'm in Sweden, he's in Switzerland, but I'm from New Zealand. And we sound quite different. And I'm about 20,000 hours short of his gameplay in this. Oh! Oh! Oh, come on, what sort of rookie doesn't load his bow previously? Come on. Bam! That's how we do them. That's how we do them in Sweden. It's not actually. But there we go. <laughs> we dropped them. When in doubt, smoke them in the brain. There's no trophy uh, ruined in, uh, in this game. Right. Ladies and gentlemen, put your guessing games in the... Uh, your guessing games, put your guesses in. What did it top out at? 205, this one or something, right? So I don't know what this one's going to score. It, it is a bit thicker, this one. So, What other animals on this map? Rocky Mountain Elk, Mule Deer, Grizzly Bear, Wolves, Ptarmigan, Bighorn Sheep. Did I miss anything? I feel like I missed something. Seven animals. I don't know. It's a fun map. It's great. I, I think I said mule deer, didn't I? Sure. Oh, Puma. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alan, that's the one. It was uh, added uh, after release, too. So, yeah, Puma's another one. Mountain lion. Puma. Thank you very much. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to pick this up in 10, 9, 8, 
seven six five four three two one eh, eh, eh. so uh horse company in uh youtube is the last one so there we go unfortunately alan didn't quite get in there um and ned bella smoked the uh the the twitch one fine so 168 not quite a 170 so you can see they get quite a bit bigger um like i said the really big ones you're like wow that is a big horn sheep uh right 160 167 for dawson 0.7 would be the closest so far but it's still closer than 169 169.6 is not closer one one a one ninety two no one 69.1 might be closer is it is there a 168 somewhere just put this one to bed quickly 168 for two moons there we go 168.84 wow eight four two 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 moons that is a great guess anybody got better than that i do believe two moons has uh knocked that one out of the park so to speak all right, I'll show you this next... Hopefully you can fast travel. Okay, there we go. Let's show you this next area, because this is a good, good place too. Uh, I think the best thing to do, actually, when you first uh, fast travel is not run and have a listen, because they, they can be, like, right on there. This is... Uh, oh, look, there's one right there. Um, female. Doing... Fe oh, there's a male right there, look. Oh, he's a bit of a he's a bit of a tank too, I think. One eighty five, one oh. Let's let's get another a guessing game on this one, hopefully. One oh five one. Do you reckon he's bigger than the last one? I think he might be a little bit bigger than the last one. No! Stop, sheep! Stop! And don't let go, Jack. Did he stop? He stopped. Oh, okay, right now I need to just calm down so I don't... Can you hear that? Can you hear the, the sand sliding? It's probably that female. He does look pretty thick, Savannah. Yeah, let's go and look. Chuck your guesses in, ladies and gentlemen. Put this in here. Put it, put that in there. What do you guys reckon? What do you reckon? Do, 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 do. Burning inside out, yeah. Destroying everyone's eardrums. That's why they call me Mr. Eardrum Destroying Person. I'm just trying to feel some silence here. Like maybe I should just let the silence happen, I think. <coughs> Alright, I'm going to wrap this up in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. <laughs> one set Ooh, it's not bad it's not bad at all uh horse company got in the last one there in uh youtube so there we go all right uh mel's gaming <laughs> with 180.9 is actually not closer than uh cock rammed with uh 180.7 uh but sorry 180.17 but then ned Bala with 179.5 is not closer is not closer so uh cockrumed you are closer i think let me have a look. Is there anybody with a closer guess than that? 
So close, Ned. So close. Uh, that is uh, quite a big, big horn. 172. 178. We just need a 180. Bang on the... No. Nah. Just shy of taxi. Yeah, I think this one might make it into my taxidermy slot, actually. The uh, infinite nine numbers there are, uh, are, are always good. Do I have the trophy poses for... Uh, I don't even remember what trophy poses are. Animal poses. So do I have big horn sheep poses? I don't. What sort of what sort of guy is this, huh? 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 Who do you have running these streams, EW? Doesn't even have the trophy poses of the game you're supposed to be representing. Uh, uh, okay, we just got to go a little bit old school on this. Oh, all right. Get the old, the old gun out, and then let's go like a solemn one, maybe. Let's have a look. Oh, it's not. Are you not gonna? The camera's not gonna let me. Ah, uh, or is it my mouse being weird? My mouse being weird? Oh, my mouse is dying. What's going on with my mouse? All right, we'll flick him over, just like a new one. This is going to be beautiful. Absolutely stunning. Apart from floaty legs. You know what? It's uh, it's not too bad. It's not too bad. Okay, it's pretty bad. But we'll, we'll run with it. It's done. He's, he, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to slap him in the, in the trophy lodge there. So there we go. So there we go. Uh, let us know. Oh, I'll let Hosen know your uh, trophy name. Your trophy name. My gosh, my brain. My uh, your in-game name, so we can get you the EMs. There we go. We'll ram with that. We will ram with that. That's right. Hey, Doe How you doing, buddy? I know I asked you this, but where does your white tail hunt, Doe? Rick, how you doing, man? Good to see you. Hey, uh, MD, have a good one, bud. Have a good rest of your day. All right, we got like 20 minutes t t to go still, so let's uh, oh, get up this hill eventually. That'd be nice. I don't think we should lose our elevation yet because i got to show you this other spot. So here, one of my favorite spots is to go this way down the ridge, actually, because, again, keep that ridge activity and you get more spotting chances, basically. I think I heard one rock walking. Maybe. Uh, Timothy Davis, how you doing, man? Good to see you, bud. Welcome on into the stream. Went on a bow hunt. Saw one doe. Out of range. Going rough hunting on the third. Hopefully we get something good. Had a blast. That's the that's the main thing, doe. That you had a blast. And I'm proud of you for going on a uh, on a uh, on a bow hunt, mate. That's great. I thought it was just going to be rifle for you. So yeah, that's a good. That is a good gun, Scotty. Uh, that's a good gun too. I like that 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 gun. The eight by fifty seven uh, and Schultz. I have to play some Call of Wild and burn up on my guessing so I can hopefully qualify for the comp. Uh -huh. Is there going to be bow fishing in the new expansion pack? Which expansion pack? If you do, you, I... Do you influence animal spawns with tents? Uh, only the initial spawn, Erwin. So wherever you choose to load the map into, no animals will spawn, I think it's 150 meters from that tent. Uh, so basically, like I, I spawned, I, I started here because I wanted to go up here. 
where if I'd started the game here, it would have despawned everything 100 and th I think they get moved to a different part of the map. So, but once you fast travel there, and after the map is loaded, they don't move around. So, is this a new location? Uh, e Arup, this is uh, this is called Timbergold Trails. It's on the in the Hunter Classic. So let's have a look. I thought I heard some footsteps again. I don't often see one out here. But it does happen sometimes, so it's worth having a little check. Um, uh, Scotty, go and check it on. Uh, go and get a target, like one of the target ranges, and and have a play with it, Scott. See see what you can find. Oh, Igor, is it? Where did I did I miss it? Okay. Well, uh, Igor, there we go. Dennis, classic's pretty hard to beat, isn't it, mate? It's pretty damn good. Are there new maps coming to the Hunter Classic? You never say never, Timothy, but I'm not sure, to be honest. Uh, what map has the range? I think Logger's Point has one. Um, the other thing you can do is buy targets and place them where you want as well. Uh, Scotty, so. I have a, I have a longer range on uh, bush runners that I use for, uh, well, I haven't used for a long time, actually, but I did it to test, test some shots. You done with Snapchat now, Dawson? What happened with Snapchat? How similar is Bighorn hunting to Dell Sheep? Done a bit of Dell Sheep, but never tried Bighorn. I think it's quite similar, but the Bighorn Sheep don't call uh, Scylla. Yeah, and I mean, I think the Dell Sheep are probably arguably easier to spot. Because there's less uh, for them to hide behind. Unless they're down in the flats, of course, but... Uh, hey Google, play Rick Astley. Never gonna give you up. Hopefully, everybody's phone is now playing that for them. That'd be great, wouldn't it? And everyone's got it stuck in their head down too. Ding, ding. Oh, okay. Hey Siri. <laughs> <laughs> My Google Home is playing. Uh oh. <laughs> Did that actually work? Oh, that'd be hilarious. When is your next hunt IRL? I'm basically done for the season now, and I'm actually going to do some guiding for the first time, maybe. Well, it's, it's, we're still working out in the 1st of uh, December. So I'm going to take a couple of people out and uh, try and get them some red deer. So that'll be fun. Um, but in terms of me shooting stuff this year, I think it's basically done and dusted now. I've taken seven animals with a bow this year and eight in total. So... Like I say, I, I really can't complain. I've had an absolute magical season uh, and uh, very content. My, like the, a couple of the last hunting seasons, I've just been really frustrated because it hasn't gone so well. And this time I'm just, you know. Did, <laughs> did it actually start playing for some of you? Ha <laughs> ha. 
<laughs> hey, Nogtub, how you doing, man? Good to see his red deer running around there. Wait, Dawson, do you have red deer on your ranch there? I saw, um, I know, before I said it, oh, actually, you know, I won't say this stuff. It's all right. Yeah, I wonder how bad you can get it. Hey, Google, order me a pizza. Sure. Which restaurant would you... Hey, Google, what are you wearing? That one's always fun. That one works with Siri. Why do humans always ask me this? Or something. Yeah, I don't even know if you can do that stuff anymore. But when Siri first came out, there was like a whole bunch of stuff that that, that programmed uh, that you could have like a proper funny conversation with, and it was hilarious. I used to be on the uh, the iPhone buzz. Uh, hello, do you know what I can do with the crashes in Call of Wild? Uh, first off. Uh, try and get hold of support but the most common cause of crashes if it's just started without an update so if it's been happening since the update it's probably the update um is to check your traffic graphics drive drivers do you use the same bow as flinter basically uh he had well actually no not not basically i use a different one uh, he's using the Nitro, and I am using, um, oh my gosh, the uh, Defcon M26. Really loving my bow this year. It's an absolute uh, workhorse. Super consistent, accurate, real fast. Good times. In fact, out of all the animals I've shot, only one has been a bad shot and that was in Finland this year so and that was definitely me on my bow 10 yards I, mess, I messed up the shot a little bit at 10 yards ah, I think because I was like oh this will be easy you know it wasn't really focusing the same as everything else so uh do you play the Hunter Classic? We are playing the Hunter Classic right now, OG. Can't hang out long, but figure I'll drop a see how going. James Hagerman, welcome on in, buddy. We're just uh, going through some of the, the big horn sheep hunting spots and uh, where I recommend people go. So, On that Peggy. Oh, sorry, yeah, but this... Uh, this Yes, I have, I have uh, messed up two shots this year, didn't it? I was meaning, sorry, from this uh, this season. So, pigs are season all year round over here, if that makes sense, Ned. Told the guy yesterday that if I see the stag, it's dead. Okay, I need meat, and like Nock said, we don't want white tail red stag. Wait, they, they don't. They can't breed, can they? Can a red stag breed with a white tail deer? Grant, Sierra, how you doing, man? Good to see you. Are you going to play the Call of the Wild today? No, OG Hunts, no. Today is classic day, my man. Uh, Call of the Wild is on Tuesdays. And hopefully, hopefully Mr. Beard has everything ironed out because that is going to be a pretty damn exciting stream okay we got a track right here somewhere but just a female down there somewhere <sighs> maybe she's got some friends with slightly bigger horns Or this spot could be a complete bust as well. Which happens sometimes. Oh, there's another track there though, look. I 
I just feel like there's something down this way. But maybe I'm wrong. I'm walking down the knife's edge. The razor's edge. Just in full concentration mode here now. Time again over there. Another one over there. A fun loadout actually could be to take a shotgun up here because uh, their their areas do intersect a little bit, you know. Wait, is that one over there? No, I don't think so. All right, so there's at least a male down here somewhere. Maybe we get lucky and they're just down here. Uh oh. There we go. I actually had a. Uh, yeah, I'm just thinking about it. I actually had a friend in uh, real life who did that, unfortunately, in New Zealand and uh, was attached to somebody else, and they both died. Mountaineering is pretty intense. But luckily in this game, we have the magic of first aid kits. Uh, I don't think they're closely related enough to... I don't think they are either, though. I mean, like, like uh, they... Fallow deer and red deer can't. But red deer and elk can uh, because that's what happens in uh, parts of New Zealand, actually. But yeah, I, I don't think, I don't think you'd get red deer and white tail, because we'd know about that in New Zealand too. Actually, there's white tail and red, red deer in the same parts of the South Island. Um, yeah. Um, Salado, I use, uh, slobs. Streamlabs OBS is what it's called. It's the most idiot-proof, and I need it, alright? Yeah, that, Dawson, that's definitely a thing that could happen. Uh, for sure, the Reds could, uh, fight the, the, the Whitetail, 100%. Yeah, I, like I was saying, is I can try and find out Dawson, but I don't think they do. Not in New Zealand, at least. Slobs, that's what the nickname is for it, Hosen. Streamlabs OBS. When is the new voice acting? When is the new voice acting? What, is, what do you mean, when is the new voice acting? Are you talking about for, like, the, uh... For what? I don't know. For the what? At this stage, we just need something to shoot, right? Just something. Just anything. Just something. There's got to be something down here somewhere. Where are we? We are back down here again. I think we best to run up this way. You got your first non-typical uh, deer a few weeks, uh, a few days back. Nice. Uh, Dodo Rex, how you doing, man? Good to see you. Welcome into the stream. I've um, been slow cooking a, a whitetail neck for over 24 hours now, actually. And uh, we're about to eat it tonight. I can um, smell it from up here and I'm starting to drool a little bit really good. I pulled the bone out of it at uh, lunchtime today and uh, cut it all up and put it back in there again and added a few more spices and things just to just to get the, the taste, you know, and uh, it's pretty good. It's pretty good, you know, it's uh, cooking good when you need 
I only need two forks to, to shred all the meat. I've got this for any time again. Huh? It's my ptarmigan special, all right? He's lucky. Um, do you shoot traditional bows as well, pipes and pistols? I unfortunately don't, and and, and it's a it's a conscious effort because I don't feel like I've mastered the compound yet. Uh, I don't know if you ever do, but I once I get kind of more comfy with that, I might start dabbling with other stuff. But I don't want to split my concentration with the amount of time I have at the moment. You know. Uh, do you shoot? Oh, we're doing that one. Sorry. Okay, call the world question. What's the best gun for red dead running? Dota Rex. We're doing a classic today, my man. Unfortunately, join the Discord. Ask in there. There's a lot of call the world peeps in there. But happy to give you some uh, some advice. But basically, if we let one call the world question slip in, uh, <gasps> how far away is that? It's probably behind a rock too, now, me. It's moving, so it's not a statue. Call the world joke. Statue, bro. What was the what was the spotting on it? Uh oh. Oh, smoked. All right, there we go, ladies and gentlemen. With minutes to spare, start putting your guessing game in. Yeah, your numbers in now. Totally makes sense. Uh, totally makes sense. Totally different. Yeah, uh, I, and I kind of, uh, I'm intrigued by it. That's for sure. Um, but the other thing too is, is bow hunting's quite a um, touchy subject over here, and, and you know, I want to be using what I feel the most confident with all the time, basically. So. Well, I don't. I don't even know. I think. Uh, I think it was a, let's say, max 175 guess on it, I think. You chuck your guesses in, ladies and gentlemen, 500 EMs. You got until I go over there and pick it up. 146 for surprise, and there it is. 148 for knocked up. And knocked up, have you been hunting IRL this season, bud? There was no spotting info. I thought it popped up to start with. Did it not pop up at all, Hosen? Okay, then we're, de we're definitely flying blind. I don't think it's a big one, basically. Uh, there it is. One fifty-eight for a uh, Vietoski. Oh, it hasn't started yet. Man, that's late. All right, it's definitely a little boy. I'll give you guys, I'll give you guys a little bit more time just to, uh, you know, have another look at it. And the property I hunted got sold, and I haven't been able to contact the new. Oh, bugger, knocked up. That's a shame, man. Hopefully, you managed to get in there then. All right, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. A one, uh, 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 145, and the guesses, yeah, Adam got in there, Adam Tor Tor Toraski, and YouTube, but everyone else, unfortunately, ladies and gentlemen, you are lucked out, well, it wasn't that many guesses there, 146 for surprising would be the closest so far, uh, 144.6, and... I think uh, Elvin Hansen actually is close now, 144.6. Hopefully we've got a 145. Well, not for Elvin, I suppose, but uh, for, for me to make my life easier. 145.6. Darth, you're a savior. Thank you. Darth with the closest guest so far, 145. Have we got any more 145s? Go on once, go on twice. End of game. Darth Sani. 
<laughs> hey Andy, how you doing? Um, Alvin has two guesses, but Alvin didn't get in there anyway. So, right. Darth, congratulations, buddy. Uh, if you let uh, Hosen know your in-game name as well. So let's quickly recap on Bighorn Sheep, right? Uh, I'll clear all this. I have uh, two tents here. I usually start at this lodge, fast travel up to here, walk up this, you can see where I've been today, walk up this ridge here, usually glass, like down, oh, usually glass, what? Oops, I'm pushing clear, not draw. It comes with old age. And here, okay, there's usually some in there. There wasn't today, that's okay. Keep going up the ridge. I think we found tracks. Something dragged me this way anyway. And then we found a couple fighting over here. And then I fast traveled over here to show you. Have a look down in this bowl here. Uh, on the edges too. There's a lot actually on the edges often down here. Um, and then walk along the edge and have a look down and around basically. Use the height, right? Always walk in the high points. Use your binoculars. Uh, and listen for that sand falling too and just head in the same direction, you know. So, uh, hopefully that uh, will help you. The uh, competition starts tomorrow, or the mission competition starts tomorrow. Um, so best of luck, everybody. And like I say, hopefully that, that helps you. But anyway, I have to go and, uh, well, I want to go. I need to go. It's dinner time with my family. Then I have to go and pick up my red deer head tonight. So that's the real big one that I got in Latvia, so I'm really looking forward to getting that one back. It's going to be amazing to hold that thing again. So, yeah. Hey, I love you all. Appreciate you. Have a fantastic evening. Let me know how you go with the bighorn sheep uh, hunting. And, uh, yeah, catch you later.